Hey folks, in this video we're going to be talking about grand totals, specifically grand totals in a matrix visual. So uh, what we want, the ask, is that we've got a grand total in a matrix visual, but it's in the wrong place. It's at the very bottom. And uh, we look in the properties, we see there's a way to move the totals from the bottom to the top, and we click on it, and they don't move. It only moves the subtotals. If we want to move those grand totals from the very bottom to the very tip top, we're going to need a special trick. Luckily, your man here has got a special trick just for you, and I'm going to show you that special trick right about now. Okay, here we are in made it ma top of the matrix dot pbix and look at this sad, sad matrix that we've got right here. Have you ever seen uh, such a miserable looking matrix? It's so sad because the totals are here at the bottom when they want to be up here at the tip top, right? We want the grand total to be not at the bottom, but at the very tip top. So let me show you how to do it. You're going to be uh, astonished at how easy it is. Now, it's not a property of the uh, paint roller here. You can't actually set it that way. You have to cheat a little bit, and here's how you cheat. I'm going to go uh, look at my uh, my data model here, my fields, and notice I'm breaking everything here down by uh, my different product categories and product lines. Notice how Dimprush has a check right there. I'm going to twirl open Dimprush. You can really do this with any table, but I, I find it a little bit nicer if you're doing it on the table that you're already breaking stuff down by. Since we're already breaking stuff down by products, products here on the left-hand side. We've actually got years across the top, but we're, we're talking about the left-hand side anyways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column here to dim products. So I'm going to right-click and I'm going to do new column, right? And what is the name of this new column? Well, we're just going to call it total, right? And we can actually call it whatever we want to. Here's the important part. What is the definition for our new column? It's just total in quotation marks. That's it, right? Now, what you call it is actually uh, less important. Uh, the actual uh, text here is pretty darn important. This is what's going to show up. So you could call this total or grand total. I'm going to call it grand total just so you can see, you know, maybe it behaves a little bit differently. So uh, when I hit enter, I'm going to get a new column in my dim products table that has the exact same value for each and every row. In fact, if I come over here and look at dim products, right, you can see that I've got this column called total, and it's got the same value for every single row, every single one. So now what I do is I come over here on my matrix, and I go find that new column that I added, and I'm just going to drag that to the top, the top of my hierarchy here. Just go ahead and let that go. Top of the stack, I should say. So now what I do, uh, before it breaks things down by a category and line, it breaks things down by this total call, which only has one value, grand total, and hey, guess what? That's what it puts at the very tip top. Now, uh, we still have a bit of an issue here in that it shows the grand total up here and uh, down here as well, but oh gosh, that's so easy to fix. We're going to come over here to the paint roller. We're going to head down here to the subtotals, and row to subtotals is turned on, so I'm going to go down just a little bit further, and I'm going to find the per row level. If yours is uh, turned off, uh, turn it on, right? And now uh, we could turn uh, the, the uh, subtotals off on a sort of per level of the hierarchy basis. So what we want to do is leave these on, but here, this total one, that corresponds to, I mean, technically, it's that right there, right? But it, it's showing up there. So we're going to go ahead and turn uh, that one off. And boom, just like that, our matrix has changed. In fact, we've got one more thing we have to do. We have to change the name from sad matrix to happy matrix. So it's so much happier now. In fact, it's not even uh, happy. It's just glad. So it was a sad matrix. Now... It's a glad matrix, right? And all we had to do uh, was add that simple calculator column to our table with that simple definition of uh, the texture and whatever we want it to say. Uh, if we want to change this, we could say a grand total, a couple exclamation marks, whatever you want the text there to be is what will show up, right? But I'm going to go ahead and change that back to just the regular grand total because I think that looks pretty nice, right? And you do that, and hey, you've got your grand totals there at the top. Okay, I sure do hope that was helpful, and I will see you in the next video.